Hello everyone. It's been a while since I have done a video on my YouTube, my poor neglected YouTube. <laughs> but I think I found a way to use my channel um, in a really fun way. So one of the things that I like to do is try new products. I'm just like all of you. I really like experimenting with new things. I like to see what's out there, what's coming up. Um, and I'm fortunate enough that um, I work with companies and I do a lot of releases for them. Um, it's something I enjoy doing and I really, I have to say, I only work with companies whose products I really believe in um, people whose stuff I already have been purchasing for years <laughs> and just love and adore. So um, I am friends with the amazing Keisha Divini, and she is um, a neighbor of sorts. So Keisha and I don't live too far away from each other. Um, so we've been um, working on some little things together and hanging out and making art. If you scroll through our, our feeds, you'll see some, um, some pictures of the time that we hung out earlier this fall and made some art together. She's just amazing. She's super talented. She's been doing art for, you know, over 20 years. She's uh, an educator, um, just an incredible all around artist. And um, Keisha's style is super, super unique. Um, and I was lucky enough to go into her studio and check out her art tent, which again, you have to see. It's also in, um, I think the latest issue right now, it's February 2022. Um, but one of the latest issues of Where Women Create, she um, she's in there because she has to be. Her, her studio is just amazing. And um, so her style, she she does everything, but one of the things that's just so cool are her little kind of people, her little um, figures. So this is a piece she made me while we were working in our studio together, and she gave me some pins, and I kind of created this little homage to Keisha, and I hang this on my wall. Um, it's just all her art and I just find her so inspiring. And I remember mentioning to her when we were hanging out, I was like, wow, I wish you had stamps or something of these faces that you do. I just love them so much. And I came home today and was taking in the mail and I got this amazing package from KP from, um, our foamies and Keisha, and Keisha has designed a new set of um, art foamy stamps with all her amazing figures. I almost peed my pants. I was so excited um, to get this package. So um, I'm really not sure this, I've gotten this before it's been released. So even though you're going to see this once they're available, um, I still am not sure if these are going to be sold individually, but I just wanted to show them to you. Um, and I'm going to open this up and, and take these out so you can see them. They're just so cute. And this is what I love. I love showing, um, you know, art or products from artists that I admire and love, and Keisha's so amazing. So this is the cute little note that the owner of Art Foamy sent me. Um, and if you don't know what Art Foamies are, they are a kind of foam stamp. So I'm sure everyone knows what rubber stamps are and clear stamps are. But Art Foamies are these thick, very lightweight foam um, stamps. And you know, typically you're going to be getting slightly broader designs, but they can be pretty detailed, as many of these are. And, um, 
they're really great. You can use them with ink for sure, um, but they're a little easier to use with acrylic paint. So, um, and there's many ways to do that. So I can show you um, how I like to use our foamies. They also have, um, she sent along this stamp buddy. And I think what you can do is load this up with paint, um, especially if you're going to do a lot and then use this as your stamp pad and get the paint on there. Um, and then when you're done using them in a session, you just wanna run them under like warm water and um, rinse them off really well. And I usually just dry them face down in paper towels. So um, they're really fun to use. And also art foamies in particular are also great to use on the gel plate. You can, you know, make a gel impression with your paint. Well, not an impression, but roll out your paint on your gel plate. And then you can press art foamies into the gel plate and they will leave an image on the the plate so that when you pull it up, you'll get these characters or designs or what have you. So um, I thought I would just show you how I use these. Um, I have yet to try the Stamp Buddy. I'm not gonna use it for this session just because I don't have a, a I'm gonna use black and I don't have enough black paint to put on there. So I'm just gonna use a tiny bit. So usually what I do is I um, take a little bit of paint. I always use Dina Wakely's paint pretty much for everything. This is just a, a black gesso. And they're, um, I'm not gonna use a brand new white one, hold on. And their foam, Ranger has these foam daubers. Um, these little foam daubers on their mini blending tools. So I like using this to apply the paint onto the art foamy. And I'm totally doing this without having any paper. <laughs> Hold on. Let me get my scrap paper bin. Here we go. This was a collage paper. Sorry, I just rocked the camera here. So I'm just going to stamp that black paint on here. Just get it everywhere. And... Um, and you just kind of firmly press down on the surface. Sometimes you can even get an acrylic plate if you want, but because it's foam, I like to just kind of gently press the foam. And it comes out so cool. So you got a really cool impression. And it's a little grungy, which I love. I just, I love anything kind of grungy. So. It comes out really bold, really nice, and just awesome, all around awesome. So um, I thought it might be fun to just play with them with you guys. And, um, you know, again, I haven't even begun to experiment with these quite yet. Um, in terms of pink colors and things like that. So I went ahead and um, I did some on just like a, a, a sturdier paper. Having some of my tea here. And I thought it might be fun to um, try coloring these with watercolors. So these are the ones that came from the stamps here. I have some duplicates of my favorites. They just came out so awesome. I love the smiley face. I just, I know I'm gonna, you're going to be seeing these a lot in my art journaling. So look how amazing these are. They're just so fun. So I thought it would be fun to just kind of, oh my gosh, that's <laughs> my child my five-year-old's been using my art supplies so I'm like 
I just dipped a very clean brush in the water and all this black paint came out of it. So what I'm gonna do is try experimenting with watercolors to color these um, because I've just been using watercolors so much. And although I did it on a thinner paper, so I might not get like the most exciting watercolor effects on here, but I'm just gonna try it out just so you guys can see um, how pretty these are. So, and I'm just so excited for Keisha. I just think she's so talented and, um, you know, as a, as a fan too, I'm just like, oh, I get to play with another artist's stuff. I just, I love, um, I love seeing what other people create. And that's why I just can't seem to stay away from doing releases for people. I just, I love it so much. I get so excited when I see new stuff that's coming out and I just get more ideas and it gets my, my own creative juices going. So sometimes, um, I work in many different kinds of journals. So, you know, if I'm working in my collage journal, I'm just cutting out images and kind of doing more doodling. Um, and when I'm working in my mixed media journals, I'm kind of doing more composition stuff. Um, but it all depends on time, you know? Sometimes I have the the time to really get going with um, with the design on something. Other times I have less time, so it's nice to have stamps and stencils on hand that I can play with and work on a concept and not worry about coming up with something in that moment. I'll have something kind of at the ready that I can kind of play with and use. This is just coming out so cute, you guys. I, I love these so much. So I was kind of thinking this can be a fun place for if you want to see my experiments or trying out new products. Um, you know, I can put that here and you know, also more um, flip throughs of my journals or current projects, more elaborate detail on the current projects I'm working on. Um, I think that's how I wanna focus on this channel. And if I do that, I think I'll be able to get on here more often. I've just been struggling trying to figure out what I wanna do with this channel. Um, and now I'm like, oh, I can just play with everybody and show them all the fun things that are inspiring me as just myself. Um, so keep on the lookout. I'll be, I think, doing a lot more on here, especially for the month of February. I have sign myself I've got a lot of releases coming up with companies amazing companies so be on the lookout in this channel I'm going to be sharing a lot in February and in March a lot of what I'm kind of working on oh, this is just so cute you guys Here, I'm going to bring him up you see him? He's just so cute. And it actually never occurred to me until just now to um, try like watercolors in this way. So I also, I brought my, um, my Neo Color crayons, right? My Karen Dash. Um, so I'm gonna try some of these too. 
because these have really fun, bold colors. And see how that turns out. And I'm just playing here. I mean, I haven't really, I haven't done this particular um, combo before. So I stamped in just black acrylic paint and then I cut the shapes out. I let the paint dry and now I'm just going to go back in with some Neo colors, which are water soluble crayons. Um, they're really cool. They're very kind of soft and um, highly pigmented. Um, other ones that I like to use are the Dina Wakely Scribble Sticks. Those work really well like this. Um, and I love those because you can't break them. Unfortunately, the Caran Dash are much softer and they break a little more easily. And since my five-year-old likes to share my supplies, it breaks my heart when one of those break. Not that it really matters, you can really just keep using them, but you know. This is so cool. And I'm just, I thought it might be fun to try these two to just like blend them a little bit. I feel like I'm always horrible at choosing colors. Um, just extemporaneously. <laughs> and then I get frustrated with myself. Like, why did you do that? I don't know. When I was little coloring books, I would just try like too many colors and then my page would just look kind of odd. Uh, let's just pick another. So that's why I'm gonna keep this monochromatic just to be safe. I can't mess it up too much. So I got the color on the white, but it's going over the wording. So I'm just gonna kind of wipe it away from the wording a little bit, just so it still stays, stays bold. And if that really bothers me later, I can just go back in and, and ink it up with like um, a Sharpie or something. Yeah. I think he needs blue eyes. Oh, so cool. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep playing with these. And you will probably see these on my Instagram feed. But how cute are these? The Artful Me's by um, Keisha Divini. And um, just check her out on Instagram. Check out Artful Me's. Um, I, I think these are going to be hard to pass up, you guys. They're just, they're just too amazing. And they come with all these cool little phrases. They come with the warning. So funny. I think my five-year-old needs that. <laughs> it's okay not to be okay. And that is so true. Ugh in this little one. So anyway, I'm going to keep playing. And um, I just wanted to share these with you guys um, and show you what I'm excited about this week. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting more on here with all the other new things that um, I'm going to be trying out. So hopefully we can come back and try some new things together.